today I'm going to share with you guys how I make the Mexican homemade Mexican rice that you probably see in a lot of my dinner videos if you watch them. Uh, we make it all the time. It's really good. I'll, I'll post the video below. It's from allrecipes.com. But I'm going to show how I make it because sometimes it doesn't come out good and sometimes it does. So I'm going to show you exactly what I do and if it ends up coming out good this time, then I will post it. But what you're going to need is three tablespoons of... I'm going to use olive oil or you could use vegetable oil, vegetable oil, one cup of long grain white rice, one teaspoon of garlic salt, a half a teaspoon of cumin, a fourth a cup of an onion chopped up, a half a cup of tomato sauce, and two cups of chicken broth. The first thing you're going to do is add your three tablespoons of oil to the pan and let it heat up on medium heat. Then you're going to add your rice to the pan and you're going to just stir that constantly until the rice is like puffed and golden brown. And while that's cooking you're going to want to sprinkle your one teaspoon of garlic salt and half a teaspoon of cumin in there and just stir it around. After a few minutes I'm going to add the chopped onions and let those cook until they're nice and soft. I also went ahead and added a little bit of sea salt to it. Um, the very first time I made this, I used, I did not use reduced sodium uh, chicken broth, and it was way too salty, but lately, uh, I guess it depends on the kind of chicken broth you use. Sometimes it doesn't have enough flavor, so uh, the last time I used this chicken broth, I went ahead and added some salt, and it came out good, so that's why I added it this time. But the onions are tender, so now I'm going to add in the chicken broth and the tomato sauce. Then I'm gonna I turn the heat up to high and I'm gonna let it come to a boil. Now that it's come to a boil, I'm gonna turn the heat down to low and cover it with the lid and let it simmer for about 25 minutes. And I'm gonna open the lid and give it a stir two to three times while it's cooking. It doesn't say in the directions to do that, but whenever I have not stirred it before, it did not turn out good. So that's why I stir it, give it a few stirs in between. Okay, there it is after 25 minutes. I'm just gonna fluff it with a fork and let it sit for a few minutes until we're ready to eat it. So uh, yeah, that's how we make our Mexican rice. Let me know how you make yours. And if you try this out, I hope it comes out good for you because like I said, this recipe can just be weird sometimes and either the rice won't cook all the way through, it'll be a little bit hard, or the flavor just isn't very good, but uh, I just tasted it and it tastes alright this time, so thanks for watching.